championship set to be decided here today. Our third game of the GSSA Junior Boys Basketball Championship between the DW Davis Royals and the Essie McPherson Sharks here at the Kendall Isaacs Gymnasium. I'm Ronaldo Dorset. You are watching 10YS TV. It's a culmination of a week-long playoff and championship series. We have two game threes this afternoon. First here in the junior boys between these two teams. And then we have our senior girls, C.R. Walker Knights and the C.I. Gibson Rattlers to decide that one. Blocked by Davis. These two games in this series could not have been more different in game one. It was D.W. Davis off to a quick start, and the Sharks were playing catch up for most of that afternoon. Complete turnaround in game two. Sharks opened the game on a 13 to two run and trailed the remainder of the way to force a third and deciding game. Five out on the floor, starting for the Sharks. Number one, Elijah Pierre. Number three, LaPierre Collins. Number five, Emmett Smith. Number seven, Malachi Cadeau. And number nine, Kanai Davis. Collins gets the first points of the afternoon. He had 10 in game two. Averaging seven points in the series. This Essie McPherson trap was the reason they were so dominant in game two. And you see the trouble it gives the Royals ball handlers as Pierre comes up with the steal. Couldn't get it to Davis though, and D.W. Davis gets it right back. Hannah splits a pair of defenders. Gets it over to Kamani Davis. Paul got away with one there, but it's blocked. That's Emmett Smith coming up with the block. Racing down the court, looking to take it coast to coast. Late pass over to Davis, intercepted by Paul. Paul challenging Cadeau. Smith whistled for the foul. Foul trouble has been a main storyline in this series in game one. Smith picked up four fouls in the first quarter, had to sit until late in the fourth. Cadeau fouled out early in the fourth quarter, and without those two, the Sharks fell in game one. In game two, Hanna was in foul trouble for the Royals, and that affected their third quarter as they fell behind. So interesting to see how these coaching staffs will manage. And Davis with a three. They're gonna call it a long two. Well, now they change it to a three. The referee's wrestling with a three. Davis averaging 16 points per game in this series. Had 14 in game one. 18 points yesterday in game two. Scored eight of his 18 in the fourth quarter to put that one away. So expect him to be the catalyst and this offense goes behind the back. And Cadeau is there for the board and the putback. So if the Sharks do go on to win this title, it would be due heavily to Cadeau and Davis. Ball for a kick ball as he brought the ball up the floor. So reminiscent of game two, the Sharks out to a quick start. So much of this Royals offense is predicated to getting the ball and into the hands of Hanna. Delva finds Kamani Davis on the cut. 
He's fouled and called that one. This is the first. Halfway through the first quarter, Royals still without a field goal. Collins swings it over. Pierre on the drive. Ball goes over to GW Davis. Simeon nearly lost the handle, but eventually gets it to Delva. Blocked by Cadeau. That's already two for him on the afternoon. Miller is going to be... They call a foul. Most of this crowd here thought that was a travel, but Kamal Miller will go to the line. This D.W. Davis team generally relying from the free throw line. And right on cue, Miller makes one of two. Davis tries to go behind the back. Delva will be whistled for a foul. So the Royals already in the bonus. Sharks on their way. That's the third team foul for D.W. Davis. Pierre takes the three. That one is off. Simeon gets the rebound, but Cadeau is the first to the floor. Tied up. Possession arrow stays here with the Sharks. Offensive foul. Smith established ground, stood in there, took the charge. Collins on the spin. Smith takes it. Layup is short. Collins with the rebound. Jumper is good. That is his second foul on Collins. He will check out. Sean Roll, number 12, comes into the game. Royals are in the bonus, so Hannah will go to the line. Averaging 17 in the series, 16 in game one, 18 points in game two. Davis just breaks down the DW Davis trap. Cadeau, rebound, put back. Miller through a series of defenders. Count the basket and Cadeau will be whistled for his second foul. So Cadeau checks out. In comes number 10, Avard Evans. Meanwhile, Miller gets the first field goal for the Royals.
converts the three-point play. Pierre gets it over to Davis. Davis on the attack. This is it to Evans who comes up short. Davis with the strip. Ball stays with the Royals. Davis in the passing lanes. Kanai Davis gets another steal, but Hannah knocks it away, can't save it. So Hannah checks out, in comes number four, Brion Poitier. Number one, Keyshawn Dean also into the game. Pierre loses the handle, Dean picks it up. They don't tie him up and he gets it out to Paul. Under a minute left to play. Miller drives again. Draws another foul, this one will be on Smith and if The second on Smith. So the foul trouble situation again, something to monitor for the Sharks. Cadeau with two, Smith with two, Collins with two, all in the first quarter. Miller can't convert. Pierre on the drive. Finishes in traffic, Elijah Pierre has his first field goal. Six point lead and the Royals throw it away. Pierre taking the contact from Paul. Strong finish for him for his first two. Davis uses the Smith screen. Tanai Davis, floater. Leaves it just short. Rebounded. Tied up, Sharks get the possession. The Royals have been unable to trap Davis when he gets the ball in the open floor. Smith throws up a one-handed runner. Sharks come up with it. Pierre tries to get it ahead to Davis. He does. Out of control on that one, and Hanna will get the easy layup on the other end. And that's the end of the first. Kamal Miller had four for the Royals. Collins had three for the Sharks. Sharks lead by four.
second quarter action underway. Sharks with a four point lead over the Royals. Third and deciding game of the GSSA Junior Boys Basketball Championship Series. Paul on the drive, tied up. Cadeau comes away with the loose ball. Sharks are on the run. Kanai Davis on the drive. Layup a bit too strong. Royals come back the other way. Paul in traffic. Collins whistled for a foul, and that is going to be number three on him. Paul sinks the free throw. This is the second. Collins grabs the rebound. Collins give and go with Davis. Misses another one, but Cadeau is there. Collins jumper is no good. Davis grabs the rebound. Pierre resets for the Sharks. Smith for three. Off the front iron, rebounded by Paul. Hannah trapped. And they called Pierre on the foul. That's now two on Pierre. Sharks have to defend without fouling. Hannah drives baseline, gets it to Delvo. Loses the handle, Smith eventually picked it up. Paul went into Backcourt violation on Paul. Delva checks out. Melvin Simeon back into the game for D.W. Davis. And the Sharks give it away on the backcourt violation of their own. Simeon to inbound. In danger of a five second violation. Just gets it to Hanna on the drive. No good. Davis on the follow. They call Cadeau for a foul. That's three on him. So Collins had to sit with three fouls. And now Cadeau will have to sit. makes the free throw and Cadeau will check out. Sean Roll is into the game. Timeout Royals. Sharks in foul trouble but still lead by two. Davis brings it over the timeline, gets it to Pierre. Drives left, finds right inside, puts it on the ground. Goes up a wild one, Royals come away with it. Davis with the steal, goes behind the back. Leaves it for right, and he throws it out of bounds. So 
and number two, Malik Thompson checks into the game. We're placing right. Davis on the drive, loses the handle. And another foul call on the Sharks. They whistle Davis for that one. That'll be two on him. Fourth team foul for the Sharks. So very quickly, the Royals will be in the bonus pretty soon if this trend continues. And we're only at the 413 mark in the second. Davis makes one of two. Pierre. Passes it out of the trap, top of the key. Loses it on the handle, but they are going to call Simeon for a foul. Only the first team foul for the Royals. Directing Trafford, Thompson gives it over to Smith. Smith inside to roll. Inbound stolen, scramble on the ground. Royals get it out, but roll takes it. Pierre, no foul call. And they call it jump ball. Referees discussing the call. Ball will go to the Sharks. Three point lead, three and a half left to go. Thompson on the drive, over the roll. This is the put back that time. Miller on the run out. Kamal Miller misses the layup, but Delver's there for the board, and Paul puts it in. Four points for Paul, lead cut to one. Smith, runner, off the back iron. Into the hands of Davis. Davis now on the drive. By Kanai Davis, followed by Kamani Davis. Only the first foul on Davis. First free throw is good. them both. He's up to five in the game so far. Hanna trapped in the backcourt. Throws it away. Number four, Zion Goodman checks in for Hanna. Under three minutes left to play. Inbounded to Davis. On the drive. Draws another foul. Kanai Davis gets into the lane whenever he wants to. That's another one to go. Davis has made his last four from the line. He's up to seven. 
Pushes the lead to five. Thompson now with the steal. Smith pushes it ahead to Davis. Back to Smith. Feeds roll inside. Pierre picks it up. Call that one on Dean. That is the fourth team foul for the Royals. So both teams now with four team fouls. Davis takes a three. Misses everything. But is there for the steal. And puts it in. Kanai Davis gives the Sharks a seven point lead. Delvo, wide open for the layup. Charles Delva, he had seven in game two. That's his first bucket. Davis gets it ahead to Smith. They call the foul on Davis, and that's three for him. Royals will shoot two. Davis has three fouls. So he has three. Collins has three. Cadeau has three. Simeon makes the second. Lead is four. Thompson gets it over to Rule. Bodie finally gets it into the hands of Davis. His floater makes another two. Delva again wide open, but blows the layup. Davis with the rebound. Ball out of bounds will go over to the Royals. Davis on the baseline, nice floater. And they reverse the call. Ball will go to the Sharks. Pierre for three. Off the back iron, rebounded. But he gets the steal. Sharks reset. Davis controls. Putting on moves. Side steps to charge. Floater is off. Simeon now out and running. Gets it to Hanna. And Hanna scores two. Just his second field goal. He now has five. Davis controls over to Bodie. Bodie's jumper is no good. Thompson rebounds, but can't put it in. And Pierre with a foul. That's number three on Pierre. 47 seconds left to play in the first half. Cease makes the first. Good trip to the line for him, and he trims the deficit to two. So Davis exits the game for this last 47 seconds. A 
without Davis in the lineup, or Collins in the lineup for that matter. The Sharks struggle with the Royals trap. Bodie now with the steal. Simeon is going to, Simeon called for the foul. So Bodie will shoot two. Cease checks out. Gave this Royals team valuable minutes in two free throws. Bodie misses everything on the first free throw. Misses both, rebounded by Delva. And now the Royals will go to the line. Roll comes away with it on the break. Floater is good. Sean Roll off the bench with four. Bodie is going to be whistled for the foul and Hannah goes back to the line. Second foul on Bodie. Rolls floater. Another two off the bench. He's been a key contributor for this team in game two when Kadeem was in foul trouble. Gave them valuable minutes and doing so again here in game three. Hanna makes good on the first. Misses the second. Roll gets it into the hands of Pierre over the timeline. Taken away by Simeon. And here's Hannah on the break. Wide open and he finishes. First half comes to an end. Sharks lead by one.
getting set for the third third quarter here in the GSSSA Junior Boys third and deciding game of this championship series. For each side, it's been the two guys that you expected to have the biggest impact on the game. They have produced in the first half, Kanai Davis led the Sharks with 11 points and on the other end, Darius Hanna had eight for the Royals. For the Sharks, the difference in this game will be their ability to defend without fouling. Davis, Collins, and Cadeau all have three fouls entering the second half and had to sit for much of the second quarter. How long they are able to stay on the floor will be dependent on how well they can defend without fouling. Pierre also with three fouls, so four of the five starters in foul trouble. And on the other side, Hannah just picked up his third for the Royals. Davis inside, could go with the follow, doesn't get it. Ball into the hands of Miller, and he is going to be called for a travel. And for the Royals, their biggest emphasis in the second half will be being able to score when the ball isn't in Darius Hanna's hands. Pierre takes the three. Smith skies for the rebound, gets it over to Cadeau. His finish is good. Malachi Cadeau now with six. And he gets the steal. But they are going to whistle him for a foul. And that will be four on him. Coaches aren't going to get him out before it. And they do, just in time. So Cadeau sits with four. He's been limited offensively because of foul trouble. And that's where it hurts them on the defensive end. Without their top rebounder and shot blocker in the game, Delva takes advantage for two. Smith on the drive, blocked by Davis. Paul leading the break. In traffic, stolen by Collins. Pierre gets it to Davis and the Sharks reset on offense. Pierre drives baseline. Fall. And Roll is there on the follow. Pierre made the move along the baseline to get that one up. And Collins there on the follow. To Hanno weaving through traffic. Gets it over to Paul. Delva on the board, but throws it away. Hanna avoided his fourth foul. The Paris to come up hurt on the play. Grimacing trying to get his footing. Looks as if he will stay in the game. Play resumes and Hanna stays on the floor. Davis on the drive. goes to the line. Sinks the first. That's his first miss from the line after making his first five. But Collins is there for the rebound to give this team another possession. 
We get it back into the hands of Davis. And Davis appears to be hurt. to be a hand injury so we will check to see what his status is if he's able to continue so with Cadeau already on the bench in foul trouble Davis will stay in the game, favoring that left hand. And now Davis. Checks out of the game. Thompson is in. Who picks up the scoring load for the Sharks? Davis leads with 12. Collins is very good offensively in game two. He finished with 10. Thompson aggressive defensively and gets the steal. Collins on the J. Just short. Stolen by Smith. Evades the block from Davis, but can't fit can't connect. Fourth shot opportunity for the Sharks. And Thompson turns it over. So a few offensive rebounds, but the Sharks can't convert. Royals nearly gave that one away. But Miller brings it up out of the backcourt. Now C steps through. His layup is off. Roll takes the rebound away and pushes it ahead to Pierre. Pierre on the break, challenging Miller. He is fouled and will go to the line. So Davis will check back in. He is still holding that left hand, but is going to play. First one for Pierre, just rims out. This is the second. And Roll is whistled for a foul going up for that rebound against Delva. Third team foul for the Royals. Davis on the drive, puts it in for two. Kamani Davis now with four, makes it a one possession ball game. And the Sharks turn it over. Royals with a chance to tie, less than three minutes left in the third, and the Sharks called for time.
under three minutes left to play in the third. Hanna thought about three on the drive. Nice finish for Darius Hanna. He's up to 10, and this game is tied. High IQ player knowing that so many Sharks are in foul trouble. Attack and roll with the answer. Eight points off the bench for him. Roll has stepped up when this Sharks team has needed it. With so many players in foul trouble, his eighth second only to Davis's 12 in their lineup. Miller gets it across the timeline, straight line to the basket, avoids roll and finishes for two. Miller now has six. Davis, Collins drives baseline, pulls up for a jumper. That one is off. Goes behind the backboard. Royals now with a chance to take the lead. Collins tips it away and steals the inbound. Quick hands by Collins playing the passing lanes well. Davis has it. After he scored 11 in the first half, just one in this quarter. He attacks, tries to go on the opposite side of the rim, doesn't get it, but Collins again comes up with a loose ball. Pierre steps into a three. Off the front iron, Collins initially had the rebound, but lost it. Hannah had it stripped away by Smith. Roll. Has it taken away by Hanna, and now Paul on the drive. Roll will be whistled for the foul. Hanna goes to the line with a chance to give D.W. Davis the lead in this game. And he does. Good trip to the line for Hanna. Two-point lead for the Royals. Davis surveys, swings it to Pierre, who takes another three. Paul got a piece of that one, and that was short. Miller on the break. Collins will get the block, and Miller finishes. Eight points for Kamal Miller. Series high for him. Royals lead by four. Davis now steps into a three. That one is off the back iron. Ball goes over to D.W. Davis and without Cadeau in the lineup, they are struggling on the boards. We question who would step up and score when the ball wasn't in the hands of Darius Hanna. And tonight that has been Kamal Miller. Davis on the drive, fouled again by Roll. That's number three on him. Davis made both in his First trip to the line tonight. Makes the second. Sharks now, biggest deficit of the game. Davis has to operate quickly, puts up a floater, 
That one is good. So Kanai Davis ends the half with his floater. His team trails by three, headed into the fourth. Three-point ball game, six minutes to go to decide your 2023 GSSA Junior Boys Champion. Collins thought about three to tie it. Pierre missed his last three from beyond the arc, loses the handle, and here comes Hannah and the Royals. Straight line drive. Again, high IQ play from Hannah, knowing that Cadeau cannot foul or pretty much contest shots. He has four. Davis goes around the Cadeau screen. Delva saves it. Royals get it out on another break. What a play by Smith to get back into that one and block it. Looked as if Paul had an easy lay-in. Davis now obeys the defenders and he goes to the line. Davis good on the first. Makes them both. He has 16 to lead all scorers. Smith whistled for the foul. That's going to be four on him. Hannah also with four for the Royals. So foul trouble could play a big factor in this finish. Just a three-point game. They get it over to Smith. His drive rims out, but he's there for his follow to put back his own shot. What a time for Smith to get his first two of the game. Miller nearly loses the handle, but gets it back. Paul pulls up for three. Back iron. And Smith walks it up for the Sharks. Waiting on Davis. It's been a good idea so far. It's 
Swings it over to Pierre. Takes a three. Delva, strong rebound. Gets it into the hands of Davis. Ball finds Hannah. Blocked by Cadeau. Four blocks for Cadeau in limited minutes. Simeon looking to get it into Hanna, but Cadeau steals it. Hanna has to be careful. He, he has four. Davis on the drive. Followed by Cadeau. Sharks retake the lead. Hanna pulls up for three. Buries it. Transition three for Darius Hanna to regain the two-point lead for the Royals. Cadeau on the drive. Looking for a foul, doesn't get it, and the Royals will call for time. So the stars have been as good as advertised. Kanai Davis with 16, Darius Hanna with 17, including that transition three on the last possession to give his Royals a two point lead. Just over three and a half minutes left to go in the fourth. Smith on the drive. Hanna comes away with it. Thought about pulling up again. Gets it to Miller. And if that's Cadeau, he's done. And that's five on Cadeau. Huge loss for the Sharks down the stretch. They will have to go to roll. Maul Miller has stepped up big in this game. Misses the free throw, but he has eight. Second leading scorer for the Royals to go with 17 from Hanna. Gets the second to give his team a three point lead. Davis. Nearly stripped, but gets it to Pierre. Pierre, high arcing floater. Doesn't get it to go. Into the hands of Collins. Rolls out, roll. That one is no good. Collins again. No foul call, and the Royals come away with it. Miller, stripped by Collins. Pierre on the break, loses the handle. But they get it to Smith. Smith on the drive again, blocked by Davis. Davis whistled for a foul. And that's four on Kanai Davis. 
Zion Goodman headed to the line, making his first trip of the series. Misses the first. Goodman misses them both. Roll can corral the rebound, and it goes to Kamani Davis. Delva will be whistled for the foul. Just a second team foul. Goodman is going to pick up Davis full court. So Pierre will bring it across the timeline. Gets it to Smith. Smith on the drive. No foul, a lot of contact, but no foul call. Hannah shadowed by Rule. Gets it over to Miller. Miller, only Davis protecting, but he dishes it off to Delvo. Miller had the chance to take that one himself. Davis was the only one defending. He has four fouls. Smith makes them pay on the other end. Davis overshot it. Delva comes up short. Into the hands of Davis. Straight to the basket. He will be fouled. Simeon will replace Goodman. Davis will go to the line with an opportunity to take the lead. And he has been excellent from the line tonight. Davis makes them both shots, lead. Time out, Royals. One forty-five left to go. Davis will inbound it to Simeon. We you know the whole gym knows where they want to go, and that's to Hanna. He gets it, dishes it off. And Paul regains the lead for the Royals. Great move by Hanna playing the role of facilitator. Davis on the drive, loses the handle. Paul gets it out to Miller. Miller on the break. Roll chasing. And he is going to be whistled for the foul. Miller will go to the line. He has nine. Good on the first. Miller now in double figures with 10. Makes them both. 
clutch free throws from Kamal Miller. 11 in the game, but more importantly, gives the Royals a three-point lead. Approaching the one-minute mark here in the fourth. Davis gets it to Smith. Smith on the drive. Wild shot. Ball goes to the Royals, but they turn it over. Collins will inbound. Get it out to Pierre. Davis on the drive. Puts it up. That one is off. Gets his own rebound. Pierre gives it over to Davis, who loses the handle. Pierre thought about three, doesn't take it. Collins now on the drive. And he is going to be called for a travel. Timeout Royals, they have possession with 38.4 seconds left. Thirty-eight point four seconds left to play. D.W. Davis with a three-point lead and possession. Huge plays down the stretch from Hannah. The transition three to give the Royals a two-point lead, and then the assist to Paul. They can't get it to him, but they do get it to Paul. A reminder: no shot clock. The Delba goes up, fouled by Roll. stayed aggressive on that one. Chose not to just play keep away. Big three free throws here for Delva. Roll fouls out. So the Sharks have lost Cadeau and Roll. Delva makes the first. Huge free throw to make this one a four point game. This is the second, but Collins gets the rebound. Sharks will have to move quickly. Davis goes between the legs. Pulls up for three. Off the back iron, Smith with the rebound. Rims out. Hannah now had Delva running ahead, but he takes it himself. Ball will go. 10.3 seconds left. Sharks call for time.
all shadowing Davis. Sharks will need to get. Quick shot here, trailing by four. Collins will inbound. Gets it to Davis. Transition three. Off the back iron, Smith can't corral it. And Hannah has it. And that will do it, he will dribble out the clock. D.W. Davis is your 2023 Junior Boys Champion. Thank <laughs> you. 